All right, today what we want to do is we want to show you our new polycryl dye compared to SEM Classic Coat solvent base in the aerosol can. A lot of guys like to use these aerosol cans. They think because it's solvent based, they're somehow getting a better bite. Uh, the problem is it's got very low pigment. It's not very flexible, even though it claims to be, and it has extremely low chemical resistance. Basically, it's a spray paint, very similar to Krylon or any other spray paint. It's just an expensive spray paint. At any rate, let's do the demo. Shake it up, and we're going to apply this Sem Classic Coat. Okay, the first thing I want you to notice is there's very little coverage. It's got a relatively high shine to it, but the pigment load is so low in there that there's very little coverage. You're not covering much. Now that's crucial, especially if you're using solvent, because the more coats you put on in solvent, the more it's going to take, a, uh, it's going to crack. So you have to apply more coats to get the coverage that you need. The more coats you put on, the more brittle it becomes. So it's kind of counterproductive. But at any rate, we'll go through the demo and see what we got. Now we're going to dry this. Again, as you can see, the coverage is not very good. It's kind of shiny um, to the surface, and it's actually a little bit tacky. I'm, I suppose that would go away uh, as it cools down a little bit. We'll cool it down a little bit right now. Now we want to do a chemical test. Everybody thinks solvent is better, bites better, but it does not. We'll take our standard rubbing alcohol test, which is a good test to see the durability. Apply it to our cloth and see how durable this is. Not very durable at all. And you can go back three days later, do exactly the same thing, okay? It's not cross-linked. There's no chemical reaction going on there to make it increase in strength. This is what you get when you die with a SEM can. Now, use a professional product like Polycryl. Okay, we have taken Polycryl, we've mixed it up in a jar, we've added our crosslinker, SafeLink, to the mix. Okay, then we're gonna take an airbrush, and normally what we like to do first um, is we like to rub the first coat in. So we are going to rub the first coat in. That gives us the best penetration on the surface and allows for the uh, product to adhere very, very well. Okay, so we're gonna rub that first coat in. This is just a light coat to get the penetration. Now we're going to spray it. You do it this way and you should not have any issues whatsoever um, with adhesion, peeling, flaking, any of that nonsense. We have the adhesion, now we're going to spray it onto the surface. As you can see, coverage is much better, number one, off the gate. We're going to dry that. Have a less of a shine, more of a the natural finish to it. Not quite as shiny as the SEM. We'll go over it one more time. Ooh. Our gun here got a little uh, stuck. All right, now what we want to do is we want to dry that. Even when you have a mishap, uh, it still comes out better than the sim. Dry that. Cool that down. Now we're going to do our alcohol test on this product. Now this is the this is Sen aerosol can. And polycryl. High performance base with a crosslinker. 
that's just dust from the spray when it was going all over the place there. So. <clears throat> You get a little bit of dust pickup, but very little color pickup. You can go on it. No color pickup compared to the color pickup you're going to get with scent. So here you're going to pay $13 a can. Something's going to rub off. Here you have a high-performance product that's going to give you durability. Polycryl versus scent.